I'm here to uh, talk about coverage for jaw surgery, known as orthodontic surgery. Uh, this is the most frequent question I get uh, asked uh, from my patients after finishing up the consultation. So uh, the procedure is not sent to dental insurance. It is uh, completely covered by uh, medical insurance. What you should know from the uh, beginning is what your co-pays are and what your deductible is. Uh, for your medical insurance company. Occasionally, some insurance companies um, uh, exclude this procedure and they cover it only if the patient has a cyst or tumor in the jaw or sleep apnea. Uh, but in our practice, uh, I would say about 98% of the cases get approved. Usually, my patients come into the office with a history of uh, orthodontic treatment. So uh, when they were younger, uh, the orthodontist uh, pushed the teeth uh, in a place where uh, the bite is okay. Uh, and uh, when the patient grew, uh, the jaws did not grow or they grew too much. And uh, the patient either had another uh, set of orthodontic treatment uh, or now they have an underbite or overbite. So with insurance companies, certain criteria have to be met. Uh, they are looking for um, narrow jaw, known as transverse deficiency, or uh, vertical maxillary excess, uh, which gives you a sort of a gummy smile and lip incompetence, um, underbite, overbite of at least uh, four to five millimeters. So once these criteria are met, usually the case gets approved. Because the patients uh, have had orthodontics, um, these criteria are not there. So what we do during pre-surgical orthodontics is we decompensate the teeth and we place them back to where they should be and with a proper angle and position. If there's an underlying dentofacial deformity, you will get that underbite and overbite of at least four to five millimeters. So your bite will actually look worse before it gets better by surgery. So that has to be done before your predetermination for surgery is uh, sent to an insurance company. Predetermination is uh, sent by your surgeon's office and what they do is they write a letter to insurance company and they uh, include the photos and x-rays that they have from you. Predetermination usually takes about three to four weeks to get back. Once you get that back, then you can proceed with the surgery. What you should know is uh, what your co-pays are and your deductible for your medical insurance company.